What happens when you get Waluigi? A hot air balloon. A periscope. Birds that suddenly turn angry and mix them all together. You get that. But that's not the end of our story. Hello everybody, my name is Blind Black Dragon, and today we're going to be playing Psycho Waluigi. A game probably none of you have ever heard of. I tried uh, recording this earlier, but the audio recording wasn't really uh, fitting. So, let's, let's try this again. Oh, be not afraid of the disembodied voice in your head. Even if I do know all of your darkest secrets and deepest desires and all that fun stuff, but moving on. They call me Psycho Iris. I'm speaking directly into your mind through the wonderful magic of psychokinesis. That's right, Waluigi. You're a psychic. <laughs> yes, Waluigi, you are indeed a psychic, but first, allow me to explain some things first. This world is called... Yeah, I, I still can't pronounce that. Many, many people from other worlds, much like yourself, tend to find themselves here after, say, bumping their heads particularly hard and such. Once here in uh, this world, the unconscious mind is awakened, free to roam, previously unthought of bits of knowledge and abilities come to light. You know, like them, their psychic powers of yours. You can thank me for them, by the way. After all, I am a being of ultimate power, beyond mortal comprehension, blah blah blah, blah blah, yada yada, etc. So what I am getting at, how would you like to use those psychic powers to, oh, I don't know, take over the world? Oh, yeah. I knew that would win you over. After all, I do know everything about you and your fiendish ways, you twisted soul, yada yada, and so on. But first, let's make sure you know how to, oh, you know, actually use your newfound abilities. Well, you know, Waluigi said so. So, uh, starting off the game, that there uh, purple blob of stuff is our psychic aura. We move it up and down with up and down, we grab people with control. Or, you know, you could just... Ah. And we're off to a great start. Anyway, so... Uh, Button two, which if you've uh, pl if you're playing along at home and you didn't already remap it, that is the control button. Those of you who aren't playing along at home, I suggest you start. This is a great game. It's not made by Nintendo. It's made by a fan. But that doesn't stop it from being awesome. Anyway, let's just go down this pipe. Ah, tch, I didn't mean back up the pipe. We let's just go up and down pipes all day. So yeah, we grab them, you can throw them at things, and get money. Money is... Are you kidding me? Psycho... Why Black Dragon plays Psycho Waluigi now with pipe action? Yeah, so there are some enemies that have special abilities, like this guy. If you grab onto them, there's that little meter, and you can use it to throw... Uh, use their special ability. This creature has this. I'm gonna get rid of it. In favor of this squid thing. It has uh, magical electrocuting powers. Probably not really a ma magical, but anyway, that's a save spot. It'll save your progress. You probably already know that because that's what save spots do. There's probably something over there, but I don't really feel like backtracking. So, uh, Tyrants need underlings, so Waluigi has these guys. And what this guy does is it helps, it makes Waluigi uh, double jump and swim stronger. Ah! Oh, I almost got through that door. I should have tried. Ah! Oh, stop. Okay. So, I might show this off earlier than I thought I was going to. Controls in this game are kind of funky, and this is not a good omen. If you fail a stage, you just lose all your money.
That was fantastic. I'm doing a very fantastic job. Anyway, so this one lets you do this. Anyway, so I don't know if you noticed, but what that, uh, lets you do... Oh, well, I don't... Where was... What was my train of thought even? That's death. Um, if you get... You know what? I'm just gonna shut up. I'm... <sighs> Seriously? When I played this in my first recording, this went a lot better. Anyway, so these clocks uh, add 50 seconds. I've never really had a problem with clocks. A problem with time, I guess I should say. Anyway, uh, those of you who have played Super Mario... You know what? This is not going to plan. When have Let's Plays ever gone to plan? Normally I'm good at this game. I know you can't... I know you wouldn't believe me right now, but... Yada yada yada. So there's... You know what? Let's just focus on what's in front of us right now. There's this king guy. You capture him with your uh, psychic powers and throw him at a wall. And then you win the stage. Good grief, this, that took much longer, much more effort than I thought it was going to. I really apologize. Anyway, once you beat the stage, you get your... Those enemies that you beat, they start making statues for you. And you make the king repair your hot air balloon. Or something like that. Anyway, so, that was the Crash Course Kingdom. Uh, let's show off the shop right now. Uh, the black market is run by some monkey. So there's this one. You can get a blue eye fly. Blue eye flies give you uh, the float gently through air and faster swim. Pink ones. That's purple. I don't care what you say. That's purple. Uh, you get a double jump and faster swimming, stronger stri swimming strength up. Gold eye fly gives you both. This lets you uh, control half enemy all your enemies abilities for half energy cost for one level only this protects your I fly uh, this is a vitality charm which means when you die this jewel over with story three uh, this saves half of your no this will keep you keep your money and this crown is just for showing off how filthy stinking rich you are but since I don't really want anything I'm just gonna get into the balloon Bye, monkey. Okay, so that was the Crash Course Kingdom. We have the Desert Freeze Kingdom. The Bombshell Kingdom. And the Crystal Swamp Kingdom. Let's start with the Desert Freeze Kingdom. I did that last time, too. <laughs> uh, what I want to do is that. Anyway. So, what I was trying to say was, before I totally spaced it, those of you who have played uh, Mario Kart DS will recognize this music as Waluigi Pinball. Which is fitting. Let's wait for this guy to come over... Now! Got him! Yeah! And you have outlived your usefulness. Oh, whatever. And now we're at full hearts, so this shouldn't be a problem. that guy. Capture you. And grab this gem. So, uh, so far so good. Aside from the ugly rearing of the Best Boy Curse's head. I don't care what anyone says, that's a real thing. Goomba stomp that guy. Yes, uh, you can Goomba stomp enemies. Ah! 
and you can also get sniped by those guys. Let's go up here carefully. Oh wow, that is a big honking gem. I I actually have never gotten up there before, so this is a first. Uh, I guess the uh, this let's play curse works both ways. Anyway, so I uh, let's collect the money and it's like that never happened. Okay, that never happened. Anyway, so there's stuff over here. Uh. Uh, ah, ha, ha. Okay, so um, you can jump up these things. I guess there are snow waterfalls. Who did that? You did that. A little stink wad. Anyway, so um, there's these. On. That's the one thing I don't like about walruses, they can freeze you like that. So, let's just get on our merry way. There's one of those angel fish still frozen! I have ammunition! Nobody saw that. And if you did, your your eyes have just lied to you. Can you really trust your eyes if they're lying to you? Anyway. Oh gosh! Ah! Uh, me run right away. Come back here, I've got a pheasant. Ah, captured! And there's something down here, unfortunately. There's also one of... And I knew that was gonna happen. Did that guy just clip through the wall? I think he did. I think that guy just clipped through the wall. Anyway, so one of the features in Psycho Waluigi is pipes that, uh. do that. Ah! Just. There are some enemies in this game that just petrify me. Let's go up here. I'm sorry I'm not really talking much. Uh, this is my first time back let's playing in over a year. So... Oh yeah, I forgot to say. I'm back for my hiatus, guys. That, explain that probably explains my cruddy uh, playing. So let's go over here. And whenever you see this little uh, configuration, ah, are you serious? Let's just get this over with. And we finish. I finished that pretty nicely. Fifteen thousand coins. Yes, filthy stinking rich. Ah ha ha. And let's see. There's two more. I don't want to make this longer than it needs to be. Uh, so let's just wrap that up right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you next time. And we'll be back for more Tyrant action.